talk about being fit. I've got with me Sir Johnny Ryder with Hello Olympia Fitness. How are you? I'm doing great today. Thank you. You having fun? Oh yeah. Every day's a another day to make somebody's life better and you know positive day for me every day. That's cool. Now I want to talk about you're not a gym. You're I mean we're you not have gym equipment. Of, yes. But you're not a gym. A gym's sort of like a free for all. Everybody goes in, makes up their own right. Plan. Or they have trainers and stuff like that, but you're more of a concierge kind of a fitness thing, right? Yeah, we're a, a studio, a personal training studio. They go by different names, you know, fitness studio, boutique studios. Uh, so we're the only one of its kind up here in the White Mountains. Uh, if you go other places, uh, you'll see one on every other street, street corner. It's kind of a trend that's catching on now. Uh, people find that they can train one-on-one -on -one in a more private and convenient environment, opposed to uh, being in the gym where... 20 people are staring at you as you're walking around with your trainer. Uh, this is more so meeting with a professional practitioner opposed to just a personal trainer, right. you know. Uh, so you're meeting with your, uh, your person, your trainer, uh, just like, almost like a doctor's appointment, I want to say. Uh, so you have the accountability factor and so forth. Um, in addition to coming up with a specialized training program just specific to the client's needs. Uh, so a lot of times you don't get that in the big gym, unfortunately. You get some, uh, sometimes you get the younger trainers in what I call the big box gym environment, uh, where you go in and you have a, a young new trainer, just freshly certified. Uh, and sometimes they only know how to train a person one way, whether they're 16 or 60. Uh, they just know one way. And unfortunately, I think that's a recipe for disaster, of course. Uh, whereas all our trainers, including me, uh, getting a little older myself, so my specialty is mature and senior fitness. That's where my certifications mainly lie. Uh, so I know what it's like to uh, to get a little older, but remain fit, healthy, and active. And uh, a lot of the younger trainers, they don't know that. Of course, you see a 21-year-old trainer walking around, and he's, he's buff and he's fit. <laughs> but of course he is. He's 21 years old, you know. So the nice thing about, like, what you're talking about boutique is you sort of also because it's a, a relationship I almost look at it as, as hairdressers it's funny like you get somebody to cut your hair and it's like you almost feel bad if you haven't like been in to cut your hair cut and like I'm like, put them down it's like they don't care but yeah it's it uh, becomes this relationship of well no I've got to work out because yeah he's gonna know Johnny's gonna waiting do. for me yeah. or uh, you know I have an appointment today at five o'clock and John's waiting for me so I better be there uh, you know it in a gym environment, too, you just have that uh, the feeling of everybody's judging you, I guess you could say. Uh, and if you're a person just that, that hasn't worked out, some people haven't worked out forever, mm -hmm. uh, you know, never walked for, through the doors of a gym, but uh, maybe it's been a few years and you want to lose those those pounds after you've had your, your last baby or, or something like that. I just don't want to be the guy in the YouTube video using the machine wrong. That's, that's right. <laughs> well, that's the thing, too. That's, that's one of the first things that, that a lot of people say is they, they walk around a gym and they have no idea how to use the machines. And, of course, that's one of the first things we're going to show you is how to do the exercise properly. Um, so you're not going to be lost just wandering from one machine to one machine and not knowing what you're doing. And, once again, doing the exercise wrong and, and possibly hurting yourself. So Okay. Very cool. So talk to me about how does somebody get, I mean, they don't just walk in to see you, that they need to call ahead, or do they walk, what do they, what do, they do to well, start? Usually, uh, you know, we, we get referrals uh, from other clients. We uh, we have uh, our website, riderfitness.com, rider with a, with a Y, as, as in uh, what's on the screen there. Right. Uh, but a lot of people will call us, they'll message us through one of our websites. Of course, we're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, everything. Uh, and then we do have the walk-ins, the occasional walk-ins that just come in. Uh, what we offer is a free assessment initially. Okay. So you can come in a no-cost free assessment, of course, and we assess your needs, where you're at, your conditioning right now, and so forth, and what your goals are as well. So that's usually the way we get them in. If they're a walk-in, uh, we have a sign-up sheet <clears throat> where we say, all right, we'll set you up for an appointment, just like a doctor's appointment. Right. Uh, and you come in and say, all right, how's tomorrow at 4 o'clock or next week at 4 o'clock or whatever. And when they come in, we give them that free assessment and, uh, and see where they want to go from there. Very so, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you very yeah. much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, how do they number in that website? We'll put down below. Yeah. It's pretty easy. So if you want to click on his website, go down below, click on the website, and or click on the phone number because most folks allow you to do that. Yes. Cool.
Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Pleasure to be here.